Well, this is Brian coming to you from Idaho, and in this video, I want to share an old topic I've covered in the past, but I think it needs an update, and I think we can make it go a little deeper and understand it a little more, and it's so powerful, and it's uh, the principle of making decisions, making decisions quickly and changing your mind slowly, if ever at all. And this topic, if you really get good at this, this can be life transforming. Not only will it get you amazing women and amazing dates in the end, people that are powerful at this, it can make you a lot of money and very successful. If you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a resource, a way, a technique to be able to develop this skill set so it's a natural part of who you are and you do it effortlessly and easily. And uh, so make sure to stay to the end. Now, with that said, this topic is, a, is an awesome topic and it comes to us from Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, the most successful personal growth book of all time. Napoleon Hill interviewed 500 of the world's most successful men and women of his time. And he discovered a, a series of qualities, if you read that book, that uh, they all had that made them so successful. And one of the most powerful qualities they had was the ability to make a decision. And they made those decisions quickly and they changed their minds slowly, if ever at all. And there's a whole chapter dedicated to this principle in his book, Think and Grow Rich. And it's a chapter on making decisions. And I highly recommend you read this chapter. It's a powerful read. It talks about how the country, our country, the United States, or the country of the United States, for those of you that are watching it in other places, uh, was literally founded and built on a decision that was concrete and solid that they committed to. That they started to that they had that they stepped into courage with and really grew and and fostered fearless was too you think about it fearless was the decision i made that i committed to and i had to step into lots of tension to be able to grow it so that's kind of a a secret but we're going to come back to that in a little bit now what's the power of making decisions quickly and changing their minds slowly why is it such a powerful process because honestly most people make decisions slowly most people make decisions slowly before they commit. They take a long time. They analyze, they think, they get in their head, they judge, they evaluate. And you're going to find that the most successful people in the world tend to, they take in all the data, but then they don't hesitate. Once they've got the data, it's time to make a decision. And they commit to those decisions. And that's the second quality that people fail. On. They make decisions and change their mind quickly. So you'll make decisions, let's say slowly, then you finally make the decision and then a week later, you've changed your mind again, or maybe a day later. And if it's really bad, if you make decisions quickly, uh, slowly, and you take forever, and then you change your mind all the time, you'll tend to be really broke. You'll tend to be really struggling. You'll tend to have a lot of problems in the world. Uh, you'll constantly be pushing to get ahead, but your life just won't get a, go ahead because you won't be committing to anything. The reason this is so powerful is because everything grows, and I've talked about this in the last few videos a little bit recently, and I've talked about it a lot actually, everything grows from tension. And in the last video, I talked about planting a seed in the ground and how that seed has to be buried under a ton of dirt before the seed can break open and the roots can start to dig down and the tree can grow upwards through the dirt and force its way to the surface before it can start to grow. Think about a baby in a womb, same thing. The baby is created under pressure in the womb. Think about uh, muscles. Muscles are built over time through tension. So tension is huge. So let's go back to this idea of a decision. If you're not making a decision, there is no tension. There's, the there's frustration around not stepping into tension, but you're just sitting there thinking. If you wanna grow muscles and all you do is think about lifting weights and plan how you're gonna lift the weights and discuss the right ways to lift the weights, that is the problem. No action is being had. You see, we learn primarily in hindsight. We learn through action and through tension. And we get realizations from the tension. We go, oh, that didn't work, let's try this. That didn't work, let's try that. And it's through the proper application of the right amount of tension. So once I make a decision, I'm gonna do X, I'm gonna start fearless, I'm gonna build a business out of this. Then it's, what is the right amount of tension for me right now? I don't wanna step into too much. Just like a bodybuilder, you gotta lift the right amount, but I am committed. I'm stepping and I'm gonna follow through. So really quick, uh, hopefully you're enjoying this video. Uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification, make sure to comment because we love those comments and make sure to share. Those shares help us to grow the channel. And as the channel grows, we can bring you more awesome content. Also, make sure to stay to the end so you can get the resource on how to develop this skill set naturally and easily over time the way it should be developed. So let's dive in some more. The next part is following through to a high level of fruition getting realizations, deep understanding 
growing from this principle. What most people do is they start to take it, do an activity and they're really excited about it. Let's say they commit right away and they're like, yeah, this is it. I want to start this business or that business. And they start to work on it and all the tension starts to build. Customers start to show up and they start to have demands. I need this done or I need that done. And then you have to start servicing the customers. And then you have to do the accounting and you have to pay the taxes. And then pretty soon you're like, I don't like all this tension. All your stories come up about your ability to succeed. Oh yeah, man, I hate accounting. Oh, I have to deal with a tax man. What if I, what if I don't have enough money? Or um, these clients are picky. And then pretty soon you're like, I don't really want to do this. And now you're half in, half out. And then pretty soon it fades away into the background and your business falls apart. That's because you didn't fall through to a level of fruition. What was happening at that point in the middle was all your stories were coming up, your self doubt, your worry, uh, this is hard, this isn't for me, I don't know if I can do this, I might fail, this client wants too much. The truth is, is that's gonna come up in any business you start. That's gonna come up uh, with most endeavors you start. That's gonna come up with most people when they start to start something new where they have to step into tension. And you have to ride that out. You have to ride that to the other side. And what happens is you start to surmount those stories and when they get surmounted and start to settle down, your, your joy for what you're doing tends to come back. And so if you're going to commit to running this business for the next three months or six months, yeah, you're going to be uncomfortable for a bit as you're learning how to do it. But on the other side, you're going to feel proud. You're going to feel courageous. You're going to feel alive again. You're going to feel awake again. And so if you stop in the middle, that's the worst habit. So let's say you do make decisions quickly. You take in all the debt, I'm going to do this, but then you keep changing your mind. Your life is going to be filled with starts and stops starts and stops. I start to build tension, then I run away from it. I start to build tension, I run away from it. I start to build tension, I run away from it. And every time you run away, you're going to start to beat yourself up more and more. There's this feeling that I don't follow through with anything. I don't complete anything. I don't trust myself. And as you lose that sense of trust, you're going to be harder and harder on yourself all the time. And the most important thing you need to do, if you, that's you out there, is you need to get that trust back. So when you commit to something, make sure it's something that you're willing to commit to. Don't make the tension too high. Make it at a nice, comfortable level and f commit to a period of time. Follow it through. I'm going to do this for three months. I'm going to do this for six months. And this is my date. I'm going to reevaluate. And I'm going to create as much success as I can in this period of time, no matter what my stories are. You know, that's one thing I've always liked about Ido Portal. He's, he's amazing. Uh, if you know who he is, he's a, he's a movement guru. But he always says, I'm known for my self-dominance. The sense that when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm known for that. And he's widely successful as a movement guru. Um, and he might be taking it even a little too far. But the point is, he does it. And I've been notorious in the past for being a little too lax. And I've had to develop this quality in myself. I was always fo focusing on the flow. And I had to start learning to follow things through to build Fearless, to create amazing workshops to become better with women, to be able to make more money. Because consistency, when you follow things through, that consistency aspect compounds. So when you make decisions quickly, you step into tons of tension and your life begins to change. When you change your mind slowly, if ever at all, then you follow that tension through to a level of fruition and you get the wins and you start to feel like you trust yourself and you have a level of success and all that tension compounds. Now, you might've seen the movie Yes Man where he was always like hesitating and not sure. And he started to, it's a Jim Carrey film, say yes to everything. And that's kind of what this principle is about. I'm going to say yes to everything, which forced him into a ton of tension, ton of life experience and a ton of growth. There is a problem with that though. When you say yes to everything, you can't do anything well. You become spread a little too thin. So I want to invite you into the other aspect of making decisions quickly and changing your mind slowly, if ever at all is learning to say no. Learning to say no to a lot of things. Make a decision, look at it, say, does this align with my big purpose in life? My goal, where I'm going? No, then I'm not gonna do it. Does this one align? No, I'm not gonna do it. And you gotta learn to say no to most things. So you can say yes to the right things, and commit to get that sense of a win. So you can get the, the, the most important things you want in life. You can do anything, but you can't do everything. And if you try to do everything, you will ultimately be mediocre at everything and have lots of eh, start stops in your life. And that's not what we want. This is why uh, Warren Buffett talks about the 25-5. He says, make a list of the 25 uh, things in your life that you most want to do. 
and then put them in order. What's the most important? What's the next most important through the, through the top 25? And then separate them into two lists, the top five and then the, then the remaining 20. And your job, Warren Buffett would say, is to never do the other 20 and to put all your energy in the top five. And that's what will blow your life up. You will have an amazing life because the five most important things to you will be coming into your life. And you could just set the other 20 aside. And if they happen on their own, great. Some of them will. Some of them will just naturally happen. One of the five might roll off your list and then you can roll the next one in if that happens. Because maybe you completed it. You got a huge win with it and now you're done with it. There's a sense of completion. And that's amazing. But don't divide your energy too much. Learn to say no. Don't be a yes man. Be a yes man to the right things. 100% committed yes to those things. And I'm going to see what happens. You know, I had a client recently who just got his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He thought he was going to get it in five years. It took him 10. And he is so proud of himself. He stepped into tension. He hustled. He worked his ass off and push, push, push. And he has changed his life because of it. You know, and he is a hustler, man. And that's the type of stuff that I'm talking about. It's no small feat getting a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. What is important to you, though? being able to approach women comfortably. Maybe it's not even the dates. Maybe it's just the balls to get out there and be super social. I get a lot of clients like that. It's not even about the dates. It's not even about the sex. If I got a bunch of dates, but I didn't become comfortably social and outgoing and develop those social skills and that confidence, then it wouldn't be enough. And that could be huge for you. So figure out what's important to you. What do you really want in life? Learn to be a yes band to that and a note everything else. Learn to make decisions quickly that move you in the direction of your goals and learn to say no to everything else. Learn to commit to those decisions. Say, this is the minimum amount of time I'm going to commit. No matter what stories come up, I'm going to keep doing this every day. I'm going to get accountability. I'll get a mastermind like Napoleon Hill talks about and build that mastermind mind around this idea and keep working. Even if I get really upset, I get really emotional, I'll just use my mastermind to calm me back down, get refocused again, so I am a man of consistency and practice and purpose. And that's ultimately what I'm going to create in this world. So hopefully you love this video. You got a lot of value out of it. Now, I promised you a resource to help you grow it. And it's a simple resource. It's kind of a trick here. But just go look at my last video I did on the Tension Journal slash Courage Journal. And if you start developing and doing the techniques I talk about in there, you'll notice that they're all built around this idea of making decisions quickly and changing your mind slowly, if ever at all. That whole process, the Tension Journal process, is a life changer in this area. So go watch that video right away, take notes, and start to do it. Start that practice today. Commit to a period of time. Make a decision quickly that you're going to do it, if you're going to do it, or that you're not. Follow it through. Make a commitment to a period of time you're going to do it and follow it through to a level of fruition and watch how your life changes. So that, that video will be somewhere in here. Check that link out right now. Go click on it, take action. So with that said, hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to uh, hit that bell notification, make sure to comment. We love those comments. I wanna hear more about how this process is going for you. I wanna see comments in this video and I wanna see comments in that other video on the Tension Journal. I wanna see you work them together. And even the, uh, you'll, see, you'll see in that other video, I'll reference a video with the, with the Navy SEAL doctor astronaut, and that will be another. You put those three together and you've got some powerful material for changing this area of your life. So check that out too. And um, I think that's it. So with that said, remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have a beautiful day.